Okay, so the book that I'm doing is Time of Wonder by Robert McCluskey. Uh, it was published in 1957 by Puffin Books. Uh, general summary of the book is that it's like, uh, describes a summer uh this of a family basically but it uses the word you a lot because it uses a lot of like descriptive words for like the senses so it's like you're watching something you feel the warmth of something or s s things like that along that th those lines is like uh what you could say so how this is gonna work here um, i can draw things okay so that's what the page is gonna look like. So it splits down the middle there. As you can see, like six, seven right there. So if you imagine if you're actually reading this tangible book, the split would be right there. So it's kind of like a bled, bled uh, page, but then also the book would look like this. Oop, let's see if I can make that better. So it looks kind of like that. So it's like white background. The focus is on like the pictures here. So here on like the first picture, or on the first page for like the first picture, um, the like focus is basically on this cloud. So ne kind of near the center of the page, what you could say. Also it talks about like the shadow. So the shadow is like coming over the islands. So that's kind of like near the center of the page. Also it talks about how like soft rolling hills. So like the texture of the hills are pretty soft like they're smooth so that's what we can say for that and then like as we go on like talks about like the showers so like they're coming down um like smooth your characters are right there but pretty small so then it describes now it says it's raining on you which it was dry so now you're supposed to be feeling something so it's raining on you so you're supposed to feel the rain so they show the like the rains coming down things like that um things that you notice throughout the rest of this book is that they use a lot of blue and green on a lot of the that's basically like the summer uh, colors that they'll use so like dark greens show yeah, like dark blues dark greens show like calmness maybe and like a little bit of things like that but then like bright you know you're, you're gonna expect some like other things so like here it's like really light green like really pale which describes fog so it's supposed to be foggy morning right here then it's a foggy like like noon area so they're keeping it green keeping it like hints of blue in the sky here you can see and then like later in the afternoon the fog you know it's it's still there but it's like more hazy as you can see our characters are still like you can say near the center of the page which is like a principle but um but the textures like the smoothness of like the fog makes it seem like you know it is foggy but it's still like rough but then it lightens up and the smooth of the uh, smooth of the smoothness of the sky where there's like minimal clouds shows that it's like bright um things like the tree you know that's like you're supposed to be feeling that like all of a sudden that you're now like singing like uh not seeing but with the blue sparkle all around uh with the blue sparkling all around so like blue sparkling is like the sea the lake and stuff so then now you see like lines where obviously disturbed dolphin swimming where like the sea is a little bit disturbed your character is still near the center you're supposed to be able to feel like the ocean breeze so like it insinuates motion this sail right here obviously insinuates some motion um their hair insinuates motion where it's kind of going this way um so then 
we move on to this page where they describe like they go under the rock so they describe it's warm uh, the morning rock is warm in the sun and loud and happy noise of children who come and uh, spend the day so obviously like using a warm tone for the rock shows that the sun is beating on it um, you see like the shadow that it's like late afternoon the shadows um, they it shows that the sun is like beating down on them um, here. then like later in the day obviously like more clouds come in it says the afternoon the tide is out so you can't jump off the rock anymore um, still focuses like the focus on this for this page or these two pages or whatever um, it's supposed to be on the rock so here you see that the rock is like always in the middle of the page it just insinu like insinuates your focus on that so then it's the evening the tide is out again so you can see like obviously these insinuate that you're looking down on the crab you're reaching out onto like calm water so like the smoothness of this water shows that it's pretty calm but then when you put the oar in they give rings to show motion things like that um pretty calm night you see you see all the stars gazing it's like again like they use a lot of smoothness to show it's like calm because later in the story it's not so calm so like it's very like you can it's very textured but it's smooth textured i guess is what you could say so then now you're getting to like towards the end of the summer so it describes like the leaves are changing things like that uh, weather's changing days are getting shorter so like gloomier out you know later in the day and then now you see that the winds are picking up so no boats are out no sailboats are out because the winds are too high so the sea is pretty calm because no boats then you see people bustling around obviously like m motion obviously like these lines in the water insinuate motion you see people bringing in boats because and like tying their boats down because they know that a storm's coming so then people are preparing here obviously like you see that like the main thing is like people are getting supplies so they're getting their boats things like that preparing for the storm all right so then we have the ghouls they're getting ready for the storm they're not flying around because the wind's blowing so they're all just staying here you pull in your boat obviously from for the storm it's just describing the storm uh, how they prepare to prepare for it then all of a sudden it, sudden it gets gloomy out and they know that the storm is about to come the tides are changing the tides are coming back like they're out not in um you pulled their boats in they tied their boat down ready to be in and here's like a good example of some principles where like the wind is blowing so like this is water like the seawater this is their boat being tied down right there you can see it getting pulled or whatever and then like all the lines are heading this way insinuating very strong winds it's a lot of water being pushed out so then for the next one also more just craziness where all the lines are going this way insinuating high winds a lot of motion a lot of things like that and it's again like blue tones it's like really weird blue tones where like the light it insinuates that like bad it's dark blue coming out of the door so bad things and then now it's like warmer colors and the smoothness is back of like all of the textures are very smooth um again blue outside the window or the door insinuating bad things you know um 
the textures again smooth insinuating that it's calm they're just sitting now around in their living room area now they're going to bed again green i mentioned how in the beginning of the video that they use a lot of blue and green so now they're using like this really mild green to show like tiredness obviously like the the dog is tired um again outside darker blues um see night you know not gonna go out there then more like diagonals i didn't wouldn't call them diagonals but just like like lines insinuating motion so yeah, let me that off. Um, so again swells in the ocean here so you can see just insinuating motion they do a lot of like again sensory so it says like shh which is supposed to like mimic the sound of the ocean um again dark blues a lot of it a lot of greens it's a lot of the colors of it so this is the next morning bright blue it's insinuates calm calmness uh again smoothness what you can see um center of your attention most likely. again on these we can go back the center of attention obviously on the house it's near the center like the island is near the center of it you can say that like near the center of the image if i can bring this up so like this could be the center of the image like this line so like pretty close to the center pretty close to the center it's like this is supposed to be focused on that's supposed to be focused on to be the night you could say the waves are kind of be focused on according to the text like it says the words um then for this you could say that the focal point is supposed to be like on the trees being uprooted the family obviously is near the center um again greens really weird greens which is insinuating like later uh in the summer um they're not wearing like shorts anymore they're wearing like more warmer clothes you can see uh just obviously near the center again then like bright colors insinuating like farming like bright blues bright greens you can see bright yellows then obviously like darker colors here insinuate uh, showing that they're going home from from the summer home here packing up again like greens like uh the green hue coming off the back of him green skirt greenish tint from like a white blouse there obviously a lot of green insinuating like i don't want to say like for when they were going to bed it was like tiredness now it's kind of like to wrap up because you know like the end of something so like the green kind of insinuates that and then you have the blue again which just like insinuates like these like lighter blues i guess like lighter tones is what you could say it or you could say like uh it's like calm now as you say farewell it says and then that's it for that so overall you can say that like the tones like blue green tones they use a lot of the hues for blue and green to show emotion like not emotion but like the tone the texture obviously like you can see a lot of texture in these where it shows like a lot of motion and a lot of uh you can like almost feel like the water here like being sprayed out like obviously they're trying to shut the door so like things blowing over and then like transitioning from this picture to this picture like you can tell that like the textures are calmer obviously and then like in the beginning obviously like excuse me um like the blue like the like this picture obviously is pretty easy to look at um towards the center like here you can just look 
again, center of the picture. You're supposed to look at them. It's supposed to kind of like insinuate like this swell is kind of like a big thing right here. Um, then like the motion of this, like center of the picture right here. So then like you can always, you can see what you're supposed to look at is the dolphin moving, them doing things, hair motion, it's supposed to insinuate motion, things like that. It's supposed to feel something like that. So then I think that's it for me.